Today, we are going back to our roots and we are going to be watching a Disney Channel original movie and not just any Disney Channel original movie, probably one of the saddest Disney Channel original movies to ever exist. Today, we will be watching the Wizards of Waverly Place movie. If you watched Disney Channel growing up, you know when this came out, it shook the entire world. No one was expecting Wizards of Waverly Place to make such a heartfelt, emotional movie, but they did. And the question of today is, does it still hold up? Is it still as good as I remember? And is it as good as you remember? Please leave down a comment down below. Please leave your comments down below. Do you love this movie? Do you hate it? Do you wish that they never did a movie? I know TV show, Disney Channel TV shows turn to movies like very much like shake the earth and like everyone's opinions on it. Some people say they shouldn't, some people they should. I personally have liked every single movie that they have made from a TV show. Hannah Montana movie, Good Luck Charlie movie, Drake and Josh movie, like, I liked them. I want you guys to do two things. Leave a comment down below if you like this movie. And second, leave a comment down below of your favorite Disney Channel original movie because I want to see which ones you guys pick. And we'll see at the end of this video if this one is mine. And before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed. I check my analytics and a lot of people that are watching are not subscribed. So if you are watching and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because It just makes it very easy for you. And you guys can turn on the notifications bell because if you come here when I first upload, then you might get a response from me because I usually reply to all of the comments within the first hour of posting. Disney Channel original movies based on TV shows is an insane shift for myself as a child because the production upgrade from the TV show, like it didn't register in my mind and it made me flip the fuck out when I was watching them as a child. I was like, why does it look so different? Like bring the grain back, bring the pixels back because this is too clear. You want some independence and I know that you're gonna be fine at Harper's while we're gone, but you have to understand that leaving you behind is very hard for me. So just, Go easy on me, okay? Like, this is such a serious movie. Like, <laughs> like it's not, like, it's not a fucking joke. Like, it's not a joke at all. Like, this is a serious movie. Hurry up and get us to Bergen Street Station. These forbidden spells are so super user-friendly. The one thing I never understood about Wizards of Waverly Place when it came to the spells is that it looks like throughout the story, they can just like change the spell if they can like give a good enough rhyme. You know what I mean? Like even earlier, like when Justin did his little spell to undo the bag, he like throws in hag, like for funsies. Magic was used to protect the bag, reverse the spell, release the hag. So like, are the spells like word for word or if you can like miss, you can change it a little if you like use the right rhyme. Like that's what I've never understood about it because that's what they do throughout the entire show. They'll like, they'll like act like they just came up with a rhyme when they're doing the spell and then it changes the spell. Do you understand it? Cause I don't, I don't understand it at all. This is like, um, this is literally White Lotus. No need to do White Lotus location in the Caribbeans because we already have it right here. Like no one's seeing his little finger. I also wish, I think they might explain some of the logistics, not the logistics. I think in the show, when they go to like the wizard school, they explain more of how the spells work, but I still like just don't understand the difference between like their fingers or, or like a wand, you know? Like I don't get the difference between hand magic and wand magic. The spells that require words and then the spells that just require the flick of the wrist. Like maybe I'm leaning too much into and I'm asking too many questions that shouldn't be asked, but someone needs to because I've wondered this my whole life. I've wondered this my entire life and I've never gotten an answer. The, the magic in Wizards of Waverly Place has never been explained. I think they only kind of explain it when it comes to the wizard, the family wizard competition, but I really want to know the insides of how spells actually work, which they never explain. Be a mess on. My brother is in need of a lesson. 
See, like you can do it with your mouth too. There's mouth magic. Like there has to be something, someone has to explain something now because mouth magic, blowing magic, finger magic, and wand magic, which by the way, all sound very inappropriate. And that's not what I'm talking about at all. Okay. A party I must- Finally, this is where like everything gets like really juicy. This gets like really juicy. Like it's kind of boring. Oh, I hate you. I wish you and dad had never even met. I wish you and dad had never even met. That's like a crazy thing because that like doesn't solve your problem. Saying that like doesn't solve her problem at all. That like she wishes her and her dad never met. You, you know that? See? Just like in his back pocket. Just like in his back pocket. Like forbidden spells. Need me one of those. Oh, gosh, if I know there'd be this many kids around, I never would have booked this place. Wait. When she suddenly lost kids, she got 10 times hotter. And that's something that everyone should remember. Just kidding. Just kidding. I got you guys. She was the hottest mother on Disney Channel. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. 48 hours? 48 hours? 48 hours. But they'd know before it was going to happen because they'd start forgetting everything about their past. I can't remember I when remember I was 10. I remember any of your birthdays. Did I have a 10th birthday? They'd need a miracle. Okay, but my thing is, how do you accidentally do that spell? Like, that's like so, that's so upsetting that just by holding the wand and saying, I wish you never met, can cast a spell. No way the spell is that easy to say. Like, shouldn't the spell be like more complicated? Every single other spell that they do within the show is like long, it's a riddle, it's a rhyme. But that one is like, I wish you mom and dad never even met. And then it's like, boom, the whole world is ending and it's an irreversible spell. Sorry, I'm just not understanding that. But if you ever watched Wizards of Waverly Place and you actually thought that Justin was gonna be the family wizard, like you're actually stupid. Like, you're actually dumb. And not like in like a mean way. It's just like, obviously it wasn't gonna be him. It was never gonna be him. Okay, so we're here and we need to get there. You're holding it upside down. It literally is Disney Channel's fault why we thought quicksand was gonna be a really big issue in life because it's in like every single Disney Channel show that quicksand is like really, the way the quicksand is literally like water. <laughs> wow, that quicksand does look like quicksand. It does not look like water at all. It doesn't look like water at all to me. Which is why it's the perfect plan. Oh, it really is the perfect plan. It's always literally a conniving British man. Like, it's always a conniving British man. There's literally no one else that would be so evil in a Disney Channel movie. Also, just like casual bestiality within this movie, which is like, yes, it is a drastic way to say it, but it like literally is. Like his wife turned into a bird and he's still like flirting with her. Why is this the highest budget movie I've ever watched in my entire life? Brilliant. Focus. Why don't they just move the spell that, why don't they just move the stone that they're on? They're jumping like it is nothing. Hope they make it. Like he's ruining every single scene. I'm so sorry. It's like really annoying. You know, that's not true. They love you regardless. You know that goes both ways. Like they couldn't have waited to have the conversation until after they did the stones. Like they're so stupid. Also, my point still stands. Why didn't they just move the levitation rock, the levitating rock that they were on instead? Oh. I know he's crucial to the plot, but I just am like, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm here for Selena. And like, that's all I'm here for. It's like, it's supposed to be the Selena Gomez movie. You know what I'm saying? Like I literally want to see Selena Gomez in a physical fight in a movie with Hailey Bieber because drama, verbal drama between celebrities is fun. All right. But Ooh, would it be cool if we could see them physically fight? Ooh, that'd be awesome. Today's video sponsor is Hungry Root. Hungry Root is a personalized tech enabled grocery service that makes it easy to eat healthy. You can tell them a little bit about yourself and then each week Hungry Root delivers fresh groceries along with recipes to put your food to use straight to your door. When signing up for Hungry Root, you take a little quiz and you tell them a little bit about yourself, your eating preferences, whether you have any dietary restrictions, whether you're going dairy free, whether you're a vegetarian, whether you're a vegan,
vegan. You put all those things into this little quiz and it creates a perfect box for you. Hungry Root is really great for someone like me because I live alone and I don't like grocery shopping and I'm very much not good at cooking. It just takes the life out of me. And usually when I'm cooking, it's not the most healthy thing ever. So with Hungry Root, I'm able to have a home cooked meal and for it to actually be something healthy for me if I choose to if I choose to make it healthy for me, because sometimes I add some stuff to make it a little unhealthy, but everyone deserves a treat. Everyone deserves a treat. Through Hungry Root, you can discover tons of new products and there is so many options for whatever dietary restrictions you have. While using Hungry Root and having the recipe support with the ingredients that they send you, it leads to less trips to the grocery store and less food waste. In this clip, I'm showing you what Hungry Root sent me. As you can see, it's so much stuff. Hungry Root sends, like I said, ingredients that you can cook with the recipes that they send you, or you can use stuff from your own fridge and spruce it up however you want to. And they also send tons and tons of snacks, which sets it aside from other food subscription services because usually, Every single food subscription I've got, they don't send me little snackies. Never gotten a snacky in my life. So make sure you guys go check out Hungry. It is a fantastic service and I really hope you guys try it out because what's better than having groceries delivered straight to your front door? I don't think there's anything better than that. I don't like leaving my apartment to go grocery shopping. It is just stressful. It is just too much. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to get. Leave it to Hungry Root to do all that for me. The first 100 people to use my code, TRIN40, will get 40% off your first grocery order with Hungry Root. And you guys can also use the link at the top of my description and use my code to get 40% off. Make sure you guys go check out Hungry Root. Thank you, Hungry Root, for sponsoring today's video. The boat is ready for us. Thank you. Oh, um, that boat? Yep. He seems to have a lot of juice. For Selena to be like, oh, I don't have enough juice to do this like simple spell because I don't have my wand, but him to be able to do all of this stuff like again and again, like he has a lot of juice. Where is his juice coming from? Cause she couldn't get enough juice to do a simple spell, but he needs a lot more juice. I'm like, that's where I'm confused. Again, the magic details of, and, and the, 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 the uh, story behind how it works is very interesting to me. I don't understand it. I don't understand how any of them do magic. And how are they able to do the levitating rocks when they don't have the wand? Their dad has the wand. And I thought that's where they, like, I thought they needed their, like the levitation spell seemed like a pretty big spell. There for me, no matter how many times I screw up. That doesn't make me great. That just makes me a good brother. No, I don't say it very often. Thank you. This is literally the saddest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. They have the highest budget in the world and they couldn't have gotten a thicker substance to um, represent quicksand. Like it's water with like Oreo cookie crumbles on top. <laughs> it's water with Oreos crumbled up on top of it. That's all it is. This Piadre thing better reverse the spell or else I just got back. But this is genuinely like when talking about it, I know I've been saying as a joke that it has a high budget. It really does have a high budget for a Disney Channel movie because like if you look at like Hannah Montana or Starstruck or like Good Luck Charlie, the movie, like they're higher budget, obviously, but this is like location based. Like they are going to multiple locations. They are changing the scene. This is a cave they're in. Like this is... This is high budget stuff. With visual effects, like none of the other movies have to do visual effects. They have to do CGI in like every single scene. The budget was crazy for Selena. For Selena. Because she was about to do Monte Carlo right after this. Who would have thought after watching Wizards of Waverly Place the show that uh, the, the relationship dynamic development for Justin and Alex would be so heartwarming to me. I never would have thought that. I never would have thought that at all. I'll go. I big brother, big brother vibes. Do you think that Justin was the most attractive in this movie or sometime within the show? Mm, Justin was never my type. Like I like, he was, I never had a crush on Justin, but I do think he was the most like crush worthy within the movie, right? He wasn't like crush worthy in the show. For a movie that's only an hour and 30 minutes, it feels like it's two hours long. Like it feels extremely long. This is very high risk. 
These are very high stakes. This is how you write a story. This is crazy. This is the Lost City. Oh my God, this is the Lost City. Should I? We've got to do this now. Everybody grab the wand. Oh my God. <laughs> like you literally just got wiped away by, it's not that they disappear, they get taken away by a tornado. It's crazy. Justin? This is literally the Hunger Games, dude. Halloween costume, me, Alex Russo for the Wizards competition. Dude, I'm, it's in the notes right now. I'm dressing up at that, I'm dressing up as her. I have the bangs, I have a ponytail, and I can find a little de purple Define jacket. Bitch. We're dressing up as freaking Alex Russo from the Wizards of Waverly Place movie, bet. Ew. The fact that it's like a silver stick is like really funny. Like I wish it looked like a little bit better. We'll try our hardest. The way Max doesn't even get a chance to fight in the wizard competition is so funny. Earth, air, fire, and water. What? Nobody said anything about that. Did you know that? Like how could he not know that if he was like that's so stupid. He should have known that. I literally hate Justin. I'm so mean. He's misunderstood. He's definitely misunderstood, and I've misunderstood him. Ready, set, magic! All they have to do is run to get there is, like, crazy. And you know what? They didn't even use special effects for that. Selena Gomez can actually just do that. That's kind of stupid that all they have to do is run and grab the, like, glow ball. Like, they should have to kill each other. I don't know how he did, I don't know how he fell for that twice, so. Again? Seriously? Sorry, don't know a lot of spells. That is so funny. I literally love this movie so much. Like, it is the most unique Disney movie ever. Like, it has the most lore and the most plot behind it. Hannah Montana does too, but this is like, this is world building. Sorry, wizard's lore. <laughs> Like, he just killed her. He literally just killed her. Like, come, like, guys, this is the craziest screen cap I've ever seen in my entire life, right? Like, this is insane to look at. Like, they couldn't have picked any other thing to do. This is the most insane screenshot I've ever seen in my entire life. It's Selena Gomez in a flower on a golf course. I won. I'm a full wizard. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop. Like, <laughs> guys. What? It literally looked like she passes away. Like, they didn't even try. Like, half of her face is cut off. Like, come on, guys. They use like half of their budget just on like the the cave. Come on, play. I know you could do better than that. Oh, no, Justin. Come, guys. This please, is so sad. Please, you can't leave me here. Please remember, that I'm Alex. I'm your little, little sister. sister. I, I taught you and I tease you and I, you and I make, you make your life miserable, miserable but, but you, you love me anyway. anyway. Guys, you're everything that I've ever wanted to be. be. Ah! What, 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 what's, what's going on? I don't, I don't know the, I don't know the situation. Oh my God! Justin! That is the most brutal way to make someone disappear. That is the most brutal way to annihilate someone. A tornado. Reverse the spell, don't make me scream and yell. Like you just have to come up with a rhyme on the spot. No, it can't be too late. Dude, she's acting her fucking hey. heart out. We want everything to be exactly the way it was. That is crazy. It literally was just the saddest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, please, I'm your little just sister, not. and I taunt and I tease you, but you love me anyway. Like, ah! Yes, you are. Guys, this movie is so good. And they redo the wizard competition. I think they end up doing like a, uh, I think Alex ends up winning, but then they end up giving 
Justin Powers to become like a professor at the school. I think that's what ends up happening in the show. I can't remember fully, but I think she still ends up being the family wizard. 